to RSR Autos. I'm Richard and I'm Sid and today we're going to be reviewing the 2008 Honda Pilot SC as a special 100 subscriber celebration. Yep. Thank you to all the subscribers, thank you to all your support, we love all you guys. And we really appreciate all your feedback and comments. Yep. So let's get into it. So moving on to the engine which powers this beauty, we've got a 240 horsepower engine, 3.5 liter V6 with 244 pound-feet of torque. This engine in the city gets 15 miles per gallon. On the highway, it gets 20 miles per gallon. This engine is also equipped with VTEC, which is Honda's specially developed system that increases the volumetric efficiency of this engine. So starting off on the front of this magnificent beast, we have these two nipples that eject liquid onto the windshield. These are windshield washers. Uh, we have this iconic grill with the Honda emblem from this era, which is similar to the CRV that we reviewed. Uh, we have this split dual looking headlights that look pretty cool. Coming onto the side, we have the standard regulated uh, North American reflectors with 16 inch rims on these thick tires to help you get through all terrain situations. Running boards are standard to help getting in and out of the car. And we both, we have mud flaps at both of the, behind the front of the tires as well as the rear tires. Uh, moving on to the back, uh, as this is a first generation pilot with a facelift, the differentiating feature between the pre-facelift and facelift would be the tail lights, where the pre-facelift had completely red tail lights, and these facelifts have silver ones. Uh, we have this plastic part over here just to help protect the paint when loading and unloading equipment. and. It also has towing capabilities with 4,500 pounds worth of towing capabilities. So here we are at the back of the Honda Pilot and we'll take a look inside the trunk. So to open it, it's a very simple latch. Just latch it like that, give it a little pull and the hydraulics will take over. And right out the bat, as you can see, there's a lot of space. And um, this specific Honda Pilot actually has a cargo capacity of over 87 foot. So. Right, see, you can see this um, nice material to protect whatever you're putting in it. Um, there's a latch here, you lift this up. And there's some extra cargo um, area if you do want to put some stuff like, say, your groceries or other perishables. Um, and right up, and over here on the door, if you want to come over here, there is a light switch over here. So if you guys are hanging out, like sitting over here, um, the light can help you guys see, especially if it's at night. Um, and then over here on the sides here, you can actually see this is the back row of the of the Honda Pilot. Right now only has two rows open right now, but it can have three. Here, these are actually some Honda branded um headphones that are put over here because you can watch TV over here. Um, and they're very cool. We'll see them later. There's also a nice handy power outlet over here, just in case you guys want to charge something or take a cigarette. Opening this latch, that's the jack and other tools and yeah so a very spacious very well protected and efficient cargo area so moving on to the second row uh, it's quite spacious back here right away as you enter you can see that there's plenty of cargo area to put extra things your cup holder just extra storage um, over here we have two cargo holders uh, as well as we have rear climate control and uh, that can be adjusted as well as three different aux cord cables uh, for the rear passengers where you can adjust your volume and also another thing that's pretty cool is the yellow white and red controls over here where we have a tv not a tv just like a screen back here and up front the driver can place a movie or whatever and you can watch it right here. Over here we have um, controls for the remote and this will display any information. Moving on over here, just extra cup holders. And yeah, so being back here is quite spacious. Uh, I stand at six feet tall and have plenty of leg room. Also, some cool thing is that there's a third row. So to enter the third row, you simply take these down and lift this and I'll film uh, me getting back into the third row 
So to get in, not that difficult. Not as much leg room back here if you were to move it back. But it's not that bad either. We have two different cup holders here on the left side and one on the right side. And yeah. So here we are at the front of the Honda Pilot. Um, right off the bat, you can see this is a pretty nice steering wheel. And here, if we bring to a gauge cluster, you guys probably can't see anything right now. But actually, this is a pretty cool feature. When you put the key in, boom, that comes on. It's an illuminated gauge cluster, which is a really nice touch by Honda, actually. Um, on the left side, we have some buttons over here. Right now, right this here, this is, um, this is a child lock, so essentially, if your kid is playing with the windows, you could do this, and they can't play with the windows anymore. Here, change your mirrors with that button. Pretty standard, left and right. Adjust your mirrors easily. Right here, you have um, the cruise control button. And like the Honda CRV, they don't give you a cruise control with this car. However, Honda does think about aftermarket production. So you can install an aftermarket cruise control system in which this button will use it. Um, over here this controls the light so turn it on and off on and off pretty handy um here we come onto the center control this this um has a dv slot actually or a cd it's dual functioning and it controls what's played on the tv that was covered in the back here we have um a, heat, a temperature control system uh fan speed quite a lot of buttons in this center control um and yeah it's it's very roomy in the front here with even more space available here and it's over here and there is a coin holders over yep. here and there is a power outlet over power here outlet, plenty of storage yeah. more there's plenty of storage out front over here just yeah. two cup holders place a bunch of stuff more coin holders not not an, not an ashtray um disc slot for cds and on the top over here uh we have a dual functioning feature where over here we have like this mirror thing to look at the rear passengers which is pretty cool but also it can hold sunglasses and over here on the visor quick visor test it's a pass shout out the straight pipes and the one thing that stands out that's kind of weird is how small the glove box is. I mean, there's a lot of storage everywhere else, but the glove box is kind of small. But other than that, more storage on the right side, over here, uh, down here, and power locks on both sides, as well as heated mirrors. And yeah. Yeah, and... um. And this car does have a seven speaker stereo system, so yeah. it can be played pretty well. So now we're gonna be taking it out for a spin. And this is Justin. He has been kind enough to record and let us review his car. This is his car. Thank so, you for having me. So, so yeah, Justin. Tell us about the, your experiences with driving this car. Yeah, tell us your experience. Well, this was my first car I ever had that I drove. Yeah. And, uh, I, I fell in love with it. I'm so used to SUVs now, so probably my next car will be an SUV. Oh, I see. Have so, you yeah. named this car? Pardon? Have you named this car? Uh, name it Monica. Monica. Yeah. Very nice name. Yeah. For a nice car. Yeah. So right away, I'm driving this. I've I've only driven this once before. So right away, driving this, uh, especially compared to the CRV, I immediately notice that you're much more higher off the ground, right? And uh, so that gives you more of a king of the road type feeling. And uh, uh, comparing this directly to the CRV, because that's the most direct car I can think of in driving comparison wise, uh, it feels more bigger, obviously. And another thing is that the steering, uh, it's a bit more floaty. So, I mean, if you're, if you're an average driver, you probably won't notice this, but when I, I can move like the finger, I can move the steering wheel with my finger. So take that how you will. Getting on the road. Got that VTEC kicking in. Uh, it, it, it picks up power pretty good. It's this specific 
Pilot shares the same engine as the Honda Odyssey, which is uh, the van comparable. And I'd say it does drive pretty similarly to a van. And yeah, like the biggest thing while, while I'm driving this, the biggest thing I notice is how high up you are compared to like, you just feel like you're more higher up than usual, uh, especially compared directly to the CRV, which is interesting. Something I really like is just the visibility of this car and you can see, you know, everything. The A-pillar doesn't obstruct the view. The windows are all very clear. Yeah, it drives really smoothly. Um, pretty good sound of isolation as well. A little bit better than a Honda CRV in my opinion, but that could also be because the car is higher up above the ground. So yeah, uh, it, it has a nice, smooth feeling. Uh, it absorbs bumps nicely, as you know, as you would expect for a car this size. Uh, if you like this video as well, we definitely can arrange a comparison video between the CRV and the Pilot. Yeah. So, so thank you all for your yeah, continuous support. Let us know in the comments. Sure. Uh, we've been reading your comments and thank you for every one of them. Yeah. Whether it be positive or negative. I guess my thoughts on this car is it's very reliable, very roomy. Um, has all the functions you need. Uh, really, yeah, it's nice. I think the fuel efficiency is also decent. Oh yeah. Although that is one part, one aspect that um, puts the Honda CRV above the Honda Pilot. If you are looking for something a lot more fuel efficient, the Honda CRV is a four cylinder. Well, there is a six cylinder model, but for this one, I believe they all come in the six cylinders. So. Yeah, the Pilot is a. 3.5 liter V6. Uh, 244 horsepower, so a little bit more than the Honda CRV. But, but it kind of evens out in terms of uh, like due to the extra size and more yeah. uh, weight compared to the CRV. So uh, comparing it directly to the Honda CRV, I would say if you're looking for an older Honda SUV, um, the Pilot, obviously, it offers more in terms of just capability, hauling capability, and uh, it's more family-oriented. And so, if you were to, if I were to pick one, I would probably pick the Pilot. But I would say that the CRV does actually handle a bit more better. I guess that's due to the size and. Uh, you know, just uh, it being a smaller car, it just picks up speed better, and it's um, maybe a better car to drive overall. Yeah. So it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a nice, reliable family hauler, then the Pilot is definitely the way to go. But if you're just a single driver, uh, then maybe take a look at the CRV because that is also a great car. It's literally like a Civic SUV version. You know. So here we are at the back of the Honda Pilot. What is that sound? Yeah. 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 Yeah.